Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Java framework tutorial, we are going to continue our discussion on the data provider and how we are going to read the data that has been stored into the Excel sheet and use it within our script. So in the previous tutorial, we have understood about the custom utility to read the Excel data from the Excel file, right? So this is the utility that we have written and this is the key thing that I have highlighted. So this is the key method that will basically read the data from Excel sheet and will provide it to you, right? Now, what we need to do in this utility, what changes we need to do in this utility to use it into our framework. The first thing is we need to remove this main method from here. Okay. So we'll just remove it. And the main method I included just to test this particular utility independently and see that it actually reads the data right from the sheet. So that's the first thing. And after that, what we need to do is we need to basically, if we go to our test case, what we had here is we had this data provider, right? So this was the annotation. So this was the method that was providing the data to this particular test. So data provider was this bit here. But now we are not hard coding the data within our test case. This is this is something which we don't want. And this is the functionality provided within test ng that you can uh, provide the data within the test class and use that data in our in your test case. But if there are hundreds of test cases, then we will be hard coding this data in all of those test cases. And that's not a good approach as well. So we want to use the data from the Excel file. And so we don't need this data provider as well. So we'll remove this as well. Okay save this file now what changes do we need to do in this utility that we have written right now this utility is our data provider okay so let me go here okay so let me uncomment it so previously this was the data provider here right this method was the data provider okay but now this utility that we have written is the data provider so we will use the annotation data provider in the utility and we don't need it here right so we can simply you know provide data provider name there okay so we don't need this data provider anymore so that's why we deleted it okay so what we'll do here is we'll just say this is my data provider now okay so the data provider is now this method and not the method that was there within the test case okay and here i can provide any name to this test data so i'll say uh, say for example bvt data right just just any any name so this is the name of this data provider that will provide the data from this this whole test data sheet and this is basically the method that will return the data after reading it from this test data dot xls okay once we have done this annotation data provider this is the class that you need to import right so org test ng dot annotation so basically if i'll remove this you will get this error right and if you hover over you will see that we have to import import data provider from org test ng annotations okay so once you are done with it save it so this is all good now we have removed the main method we have made this particular get data method that we have written the utility as the data provider provided the name we have removed the data provider from the test case and now what else we need to do right now previously the data provider was within this class right but now the data provider is a separate class in the utilities folder of my framework so in order to refer to a class as a data provider within test ng with the test annotation at the test annotation there is a, the option to call the classes right or to refer the class as the data provider what we need to do is we simply need to say data provider class okay so with this data provider class we simply can you know provide the name of the class and what is the name of the class that is providing the data read xls data right so we can say read xls dot class all right so this is now the data provider so this particular class is the data provider and we need to provide the name right name as well so data provider and now we just say data provider and provide the name okay so what was the name of this data provider here the name was bvt data right so we'll provide this name as well along with the class right so this is now the data provider that will provide the data to this particular test and it will basically provide the username and password that are stored in this test data dot xls so let me open this and clean up this sheet a little bit because we added garbage values there as well so we'll remove these rows and we'll also remove 
full column okay so now there are three rows basically there is this is the header username and password right so this is what it will be passed so this data provider will be reading the data from the excel right so understand the hierarchy here so this is the utility that will read the data which is there in the test data.xls okay and there are two columns so it will read that that data and then provide that data to this particular test case right so because here we have said this is the data provider and this data provider is has the reference here in this test case right so test case understand that i have to go to this particular java class and this will basically provide me the data that is there in the test data sheet right so now if we simply go ahead and run our test case the data will be read from the excel sheet and provided to this particular test case right so let me run this as or let me run this as a uh, from the test runner testng.xml right what is that so okay some error let's see what it is so looks like data provider is having some issues so basically utility throws io exceptions okay all right okay parameters unresolved all right okay let's go back to the utility and okay I think there is something which has been missed and that's what we need to basically okay so here let me go to the Excel all right so parameters okay you see this Excel sheet name right so previously when we implemented this data provider we in the main method we provided the Excel sheet name manually right so basically this is the sheet name that needs to go there the login sheet but because now we are calling this data provider and we are not actually passing the the details of the sheet here that's why it's failing right so what we need to do here is so basically in our test case we have this method right login test okay so let's quickly do one thing or let me first go to this class here okay so what we need to do here is we need to basically say what will be the sheet name for this particular test right so if we have the sheet name same as the name of the method so within java there is a class reflection right so reflection class which i'll explain in a bit but if we have the same sheet name as the login test then this problem will get resolved so what we'll do is instead of this login we'll just rename the sheet and we'll say same as our method name okay or test method so save it and now in excel data what we need to do is instead of providing this as you know or op having an option to provide the sheet name manually we will use this method right so we'll say uh, method m right and if you hover over this method m this is the reflect right so it is it comes from java lang reflect and what exactly high level what it does is it basically reflects it, it consider it as you know sort of a you know mirror which reflects whatever you see there right so this re the, the purpose is basically same so it will reflect the method that you will be you know calling say for example if you use the reflect classes from the method it will basically return the name of that class or the method okay so when we say method m now in this you know uh, as an uh, as an uh, parameter so now instead of passing this excel sheet name what we want to pass here is whatever is the name of the test that if that gets passed then we know that there is the same sheet name with the test name which contains the test data right so within this test data excel we have already changed the sheet name to test name and this test name contains the data that is relevant for that particular test right so now here what we need to do is after this we simply need to say we'll say string and we'll say excel sheet name is now whatever m and then there is a method dot get name right so what this method get name will do is so from whichever class this particular utility will be called it will get the name of the method right so at the moment because we are calling this utility from this login test you know um this, this is the login test method so it will return that method and will be saved or basically this excel sheet name will contain that method and will pass it here so now there is a sheet name which with this name so this should pick all this data successfully all right so let me save everything here close this sheet 
save this file and run this test again okay so let's go to test ng suite and run it and let's see if everything works fine it detect um, the version and it did print which we which we already printed but um, we'll remove those print statement but this time it is actually launching the browser and should pick all those details from the excel sheet it is on the accounts yeah it picked up the first data set it should fail then should again trigger the next test so because there is four set of data that we have stored into the excel sheet it will iterate through the four times and run the test okay so three are invalid logins and the fourth one is the valid login which should basically pass but the key point here to understand is that now we have custom utility to read the data from excel sheet and use it in any of your r test case all right so there are four tests all of them failed so that's something uh, might be the data issue uh, but the key thing here to understand is that yes we were able to iterate through all of the data that was there into the excel sheet and not hard-coded into the test case right so tomorrow say for example i have more tests right so i have a user registration test say for example okay so what i will do is i'll say create uh, another test so let's say here I'll copy and paste it and then I'll say user registration okay this is my test now in this test we will create another method which is user registration okay and we will have the data for user registration so whatever data is required okay we'll basically have that into this test data or xls and that will be into a separate sheet which is user registration sheet right so now all of the test data will be in this sheet the only uh, will be in this excel the only difference will be based on logical scenarios we will just differentiate the data into different sheets because this is login test so all the login test related data data will be here registration data will be here any other scenario or logical scenario we we can keep creating sheet but then in terms of the having data into one single place or central file this is the file that will have all your test data for your testing purpose okay so that's you know all about this particular tutorial I will cover a lot more I'll add more test cases here and I'll show you all that in action we will remove these print statements we will refine this whole framework we will remove the sleep statements so all of that is coming uh, but for now this is about the utility to read the data and use it into your test case so that's all for this tutorial I hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching